Hi and welcome to another episode of The Grind. My name is Violet Njeki and today I'm going to be learning something new. There's a difference between drying flowers and preserving flowers. I know you didn't know that, well because I also didn't know it. But today I'm at Vermont, I'm going to learn what exactly is this difference and how exactly it is to run a flower business in this country, even at this during these times when there were no visiting people, no gifting and people are just like, but today Vermont is going to explain to us how is this industry, how is drying and preserving flowers a difference? Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. You are well? Yes, very much. Please Thank you so much. introduce yourself. Well, my name is Amir Mangia and I have been with Vermont for some time now. And uh, Vermont is basically a flower preservation firm. We are the inventors of preserved flowers and foliages. The inventors, I yes, like that. we are the inventors, <laughs> uh, yes. And how long has Vermont been in operation? So Vermont started in the late 80s mm -hmm. and uh, we started commencing early 90s mm -hmm. here in Kenya. Ah, so Kenya is the first stop? Yes, uh -huh. Kenya is, I mean, Kenya is the best place for the roses and that's where we started from. Yeah. Uh, we started with roses, um, we start preserving roses and Nairobi particularly had the best environment for our preservation process. Mm -hmm. The atmosphere just works right for the process of preserving our products. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what led you to do preservation instead of using like, let me call them live flowers? Okay, so we all have love for nature yes. and we always feel like we need to take a step further to preserve our environment and yeah. our love for nature. Mm -hmm. And this is how Vermont started off by uh -huh. preserving nature so that we could give it more shelf life and mm -hmm. give it the color and maintain the textures and the feel of having real flowers for the longest time possible. When we say longest time, that's a duration of like how long? So we like to say uh, five years. Five? Yes, five years. Uh -huh. That is a very good time span for our products. However, our products have gone all the way more than five years. They go past five years? Yes, they have. Oh, we're going to learn how they were to put them through five years. So where do you get your flowers so that you can be able to preserve them? So we get them from both the export quality farmers mm -hmm. in the great farms that we have all around Kenya mm -hmm. and we also get them from the local farmers. Mm -hmm. And with the local farmers we like to work with them because we try and enrich their lives. Mm -hmm. We try and promote them and mm -hmm. in exchange we get best produce from them. Ah. Do you have to like buy it in cash or like do you give them something in return? We do give them something in return mm -hmm. for the local farmers. Mm -hmm. We try and give them pumps, we give them manure and fertilizer that are friendly with our uh, products mm -hmm. and this way they are able to produce the right kind of produce that we would like to have uh -huh. in the market. So when we come to Vermont flowers now as it is, what is the process that you have to go through to get these amazing pieces? So we have two different uh, important processes that mm -hmm. we have. We have the sublimation mm -hmm. and we have the absorption. So Sublimation and absorption. Absorption. I don't know what chemistry did to me, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> we, we try and get all the nutrients out of the product mm -hmm. and we enrich and uh, put in more of a eco-friendly ah. product to give it more life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So once it gets to you from the flower farms, what, what is the process like? This is the first step up to the last step. What steps do you follow? So the first and the last most important step that we follow is handling and respecting the product. <laughs> their flowers, they're delicate. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, with that, I mean, the whole process mm -hmm. is hand handled. Mm -hmm. So we have to be very careful on yeah. how we handle the produce mm -hmm. and how we take it through the process of mm -hmm. producing and preserving the mm -hmm. product. Mm -hmm. So when they get here from the farms, you actually just pick them by hand. The people just go sorting them. Yes, we uh, sort them by hand and uh, we have different departments. Mm -hmm. So the flowers come in through delivery and until the packaging, they all go through different packaging processes mm -hmm. that are handled and cared for individually. Uh, and do you have like a preservation, uh, like a, you maybe say I like, I want to go with roses, I want to go with hydrogenas, or do you have specific flowers that you go to or do, are you open to all? So we are open to all the flowers and foliages that mm -hmm. is available to us. Mm -hmm. What nature provides to us, we are able to preserve it. Mm -hmm. uh, however, in the past couple of years, mm -hmm. we have been working on particular products mm -hmm. that have been taking us 
to a different level all around the world. Yeah. So for instance, I would give you our Amaranthus. Uh, these are our Amaranthus stands. And the Amaranthus themselves, uh, we produce them here locally. We get them from our local farmers as yeah. well. And the best part about it, it's one of our most top selling product all around the world. It is actually the wow. best quality that we're producing around the world. Yes. So when you talk about the best selling, like how many, how, how far have you been able to sell that kind of a piece? So our products go all the way, all the way. So we, our biggest market is Europe. Mm -hmm. We are doing uh, parts of Asia, including Japan. Yep. Uh, we're getting into the Middle East and uh, UAE has been very supportive. So mm -hmm. we, we are working with them as well. Yeah. And uh, currently we are now trying to get into the US market. Uh -huh. Yes. So when you have these different pieces, because I can see like what we have here in front of us, they have different pieces, different sizes. Yes. How, how are you able to price them differently? So depending on the materials that we use on them, like mm -hmm. when I talk about materials, I mean all different types of flowers and yes. foliages <laughs> been put together to create something like this. Mm -hmm. For instance, if uh, you want to have a look at that, yeah, and uh, it, that these has are white roses. Yeah, these mm -hmm. are white roses, mm -hmm. and they got pigeon peas as well. They got some grivalier leaves as mm -hmm. well. And we also work with box mm -hmm. and branches mm -hmm. and twigs. So for this instance, you can see we've used uh, rose stems oh, oh, to, hold yeah. them, oh, okay. to hold them up together. Uh. Yeah. And then we can we're able to use things that are not even available naturally. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, they're natural, but they, they wouldn't be a natural product or a fresh product. So mm -hmm. this is a bark of a tree. Mm -hmm. And yet we create it to make an arrangement for us. And ah. it still pulls out the wild nature and brings it into our homes and our office spaces mm -hmm. or any other commercial space that we are working on. Yeah. yeah. So do these... Uh, this, uh, like when you use the back to create that piece, is it inclusive of the prices of how you price your pieces? Yes, uh -huh. yes we do. And how, how would you say you range your prices? Like, is it through size or through what it is in the in The, the components, mm -hmm. yeah. It all depends on the components. So mm -hmm. because we are able to custom make and uh, design bespoke pieces for mm -hmm. you individually, mm -hmm. um, whatever goes onto the product is what Mm. Uh, calculates the price. Mm. And what would you say is the range of these prices? So we are able to sell our products from as low as 2,000 shillings mm. and it can go all the way as high as, as your high budget as can yeah, as your budget uh, goes, yes. So t tell me about your clients. How are you able to get your clients to come and see these beautiful pieces? So we are on social media mm. and we do have a beautiful showroom here as you can see and uh, yeah we have open people who come in here and they take up their time and space uh, to come and see what we have mm -hmm. and uh, they get inspiration from what we have and they are able to ask for particular creations mm -hmm. and we are able to create that for them. Uh, so when a client comes and says I want this piece how long does it take you for, for you to create for them? Uh, depending on how busy we are, uh, we are able to do it within a week or two mm -hmm. for a particular product. A week or two? Yes. Wow, that is from small size or? All know? sizes, a all sizes, yes, correct. Wow. So we have a huge team that works on these arrangements. Yes. Yes, so mm -hmm. it depends on how busy and how scheduled we are and yeah. that's how we do it. So we've talked about using flowers to make these amazing pieces, but I've also seen moss. Yes. Tell me about that, how do you get that? So with the moss, we are able to get it from the local farmers mm -hmm. and uh, we enhance the color and we preserve it and it goes a long way. Mm -hmm. It create, it makes us, it helps us create like different arrangements. For instance, you can see the bonsai tree here. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of moss over here. We are introducing the green walls and this is a very new concept here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And it's basically maintenance free, but it's also having your environment green. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when a, uh, a client comes and says, I want uh, this moss, when it comes maybe this size, do you like, uh, give them, do you offer when it's plain or does it also always have to come with these different kind of flowers with it? Um, it depends on the client mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. It's what, how much you want. Mm -hmm. I prefer a lot of green, 
so the more the better for me and uh, textures as well really matter mm -hmm. color really matters mm -hmm. so we can look at some of the pieces like what we have behind me mm -hmm. or what we have here mm -hmm. you look at the different shades and the textures popping out of the green yes. and that's what art and creativity mm -hmm. is all about ah. so you have different pieces what inspires you to create these different designs well we don't go far away from nature mm -hmm. so nature inspires us. nature gives you the ideas yes. well even with those ideas we've been able to sell to different countries you've said Europe has a big market for you guys and how long does it take for you to export to them? Well, we do weekly shipments. Mm -hmm. Weekly? Yes. Wow. Weekly shipments. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, we have a whole team of scheduled production. Mm -hmm. And so with that, we follow up. So every week we do have a shipment and it goes all around the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah. So tell me about the designs. Do you like come up with them or is there someone who comes up with a design that gives you to create? So we do both. We have international designers who come down to Kenya and work with Vermont mm -hmm. and design Vermont products mm -hmm. and internationally brand them as Vermont mm -hmm. designs mm -hmm. and we also do it locally as well. Mm -hmm. So locally like you have an in-house designer? Yes we do have Kathleen who is the in-house designer ah. and she does a lot of our designs here locally. So she does she create it on paper then you make it or what happens? Both we get inspiration from what we already have existing and we, she also comes up with new designs that she draws and she physically makes them here at a workshop. Now when it comes to flowers, you know flowers maybe, do they have seasons? Like do they vary? Yes, mm -hmm. flowers have seasons, uh, colors have seasons, yeah. so all that varies. When, when maybe let's say roses are in season or rather they're not in season and someone comes and asks for roses, does that like, do you reach a point and tell them no we can't get roses right now? No, it's not possible mm -hmm. because whatever we have here is preserved. Mm -hmm and that means that we have it for a long time mm -hmm. or we have products that last a long time. Mm -hmm. So when we have roses, we do get them and we do preserve them in bulk mm -hmm. and we have them in stock always. Also, you don't get like certain pieces, you get them in bulk? We, yes, uh. most of the products that we get here come in bulk. Mm -hmm. So we are able to produce them and preserve them mm -hmm. with different colors, different shades, different scents. Mm -hmm. And with that, then we take them throughout the year mm. and orders keep coming in as they keep going out. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we know that different flowers have different scents and you've talked about scents. Are you able to preserve that as well? So we are, we are able to preserve that in the products. Mm -hmm. uh, however, it's not something that we are willing to do most of the time, mm -hmm. but it's always there upon the client's request. Ah. Yeah. So well, ap apparently according to your request, they can even preserve the scent of the flowers you need. Well, I'm learning a lot about the difference between dried dried flowers and preserved flowers that is why and how they created these amazing pieces so we are going to take a short break but we'll be right back to learn more about vermont and the flower industry we'll be right back entrepreneurs around the country are creatively grinding i started with a borrowed phone a borrowed phone yeah, yeah, that could last two hours with charge. We just have to do quality work for them. To make their mark in an unpredictable market. It was now going on, the, on a sales venture, looking for, for stockies, door to door. On the grind, we bring you their stories so you can tell yours. Every Monday at 7.30 p.m. Men are known to be the pillars. We're rising up together. Say your point. Now you need an alpha male now to come and help you and your girl. Hi, I'm Ongea Zero. And women, they are the cornerstone that hold the pillars. Don't be entitled. A man is peaceful, a man who loves to talk to a lady. This November, the men's conference brings a cocktail of diverse ladies to weigh in on various matters. Something I'd love more to see is men being able to exist as themselves. Tune in every Wednesday at 10 p.m. Hello guys and welcome to Night In with Joy Irungu. Joy Irungu. Joy Irungu. Heartbreak, pain and tears have been a major part 
of Night In Season 1. We thank you for being with us on this journey. And for this upcoming season, we will bring you more empowering stories that not everyone is talking about. This is the only show where we keep it authentic. We share our lifetime experiences and you know what, tell it. Welcome back to The Grind for Those Who Miss the First Part. My name is Violet Njeki and today, as you can see, I'm in a very beautiful place. I'm out of Vermont and I'm learning about the process of preserving flowers to make beautiful, beautiful art pieces. Case in point. Yeah. <laughs> so we were talking about preserving these flowers and making these amazing pieces. But you can't work all through this process alone. You've got some employees. Did you have to teach them to create these things? Yes. Mm -hmm. We have had such beautiful, amazing, loyal mm -hmm. staff mm -hmm. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Most of them are here with us until today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, they are able to understand the product. They really respect what mm -hmm. we do here and we are able, without them, we wouldn't be able to reach this far. Yeah. So it is them who come up with the packaging, the designs uh, of how to go about the presentation yes. and all that. And we all work as a team and make sure that it happens right. Mm -hmm. And did you have to like teach them, like you have to do this like this, this goes like this? Yes, mm -hmm. because we are multinational, mm -hmm. we want to have the standards that are multinational standards. True. So we do train our staff mm -hmm. Um, on doing the arrangements, mm -hmm. on handling the products, mm -hmm. on taking through the process of preservation. Mm -hmm. uh, we, you talked about packaging and stuff like that. So when it comes to like, when a client orders, can they order online? Yes. So what is the process of delivery? So we are currently working with uh, some international courier services mm -hmm. and we have amazing rates with them and we are able to take all the goods all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, however, the pricing is what we are finding a challenge at the moment. The delivery service charge is quite on the higher side mm -hmm. and uh, we're working with that yeah. at the moment. Uh, you've mentioned that as a challenge, the pricing and the rates of shipment. What other challenges are you facing? Well, it's basically the pricing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just too expensive mm -hmm. to uh, courier deliver something from one point to the other mm -hmm. that's it so if we could able if we are able to get competitive pricing mm -hmm. and uh, good service from other courier services then we are able to move further and better and like will, how much will you estimate that it cost you to maybe get one courier service to take your flowers uh, it depends on where we're delivering. Mm -hmm. So if it's going to be international or local, it all depends. It depends with where it's going. And when you're delivering international, how long does it take before it gets to the person? Uh, two weeks. Two that's weeks? On, that's on the higher side, two weeks. Uh, so we may go lower than that. Yes, mm -hmm. usually it takes a week, but we like to say two weeks just to give time frame space. Ah. So even when you're delivering, you have to like, you know, put it in a box or something like that. Where do you, do you, ha do you get to source those materials in bulk? Yeah, so mm -hmm. a lot of our packing material comes locally. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, with the local materials that we get here, with the local uh, manufacturers mm -hmm. who produce the packaging materials for us, um, they are actually quite in the market. Mm -hmm. However, it's, it's kind of a challenge having them to produce the high-end quality that we want. Mm -hmm. So we would like to work with uh, and create an initiative with local producers and marketers out there who can manufacture these products for us. Mm. Do you have like a specific condition that you need your packaging uh, equipment to be like? Yes, um, I mean the product is very sensitive yes, as yes. it is right now. Mm -hmm. And so for the packaging, we put in a lot of effort on the packaging. Uh -huh. I mean, it has to be secure, very, very fine. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to marketing, you know, not a lot of people actually know about preservation of flowers. How are you able to put yourself out there in the market? Like say, I want to use Vermont for these products. How are you able to put yourself so that people can know there's Vermont that makes this kind of product? 
All right, so we are on the social media platforms, all of them, and we have a very active uh, website that all our international clients use. On our website, you're able to see all the products that we have, all the quantities that we are able to produce in, and the colors and the all range of what we do, basically. Yeah. When you put your products out there, like on social media, is there a specific kind of clientele? Is there a range that you aim for, like the high-end clients, or do you have a specific one? No, we are open to everyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone who is a nature lover. <laughs> can come in and get... Yes, correct. Ah. And that is why our prices are compatible as well. Mm -hmm. So, you said that this is one uh, uh, of the... Of the uh, industries that is in Kenya that is standalone at the moment. Yes, correct. And do you think that is something that will come up, uh, that people will adapt, or do you think that still we have a long way to go in understanding preserving all flowers? Well, we do, I would say that we're getting there. Mm -hmm. We're getting there. There's day by day, we see lots of positive responses mm -hmm. and more, pe more and more people are better educated about the preserved flowers and foliages and the acceptance of the same into their homes. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. So, since you started, 1989, I wasn't even born, 1989 up until now, some, there are some highlights that you've come across and you've said, yes, now this is why Vermont was started. Do, are there some that you can mention? Yes, mm -hmm. the love and the everlasting love for nature mm -hmm. and the, to have the respect not to dispose it off, mm -hmm. but rather to maintain it and to keep it with you for the longest time possible. That's uh -huh. one of them. Yeah and by that we preserve it mm -hmm. yeah and uh, we are able to enhance that feeling that you would want to have with the real flower mm -hmm. or the f real foliage that you are in love with and we're able to take it for a long long time yes so when when we say about preserved flowers we have other flower forms like in Naivasha who actually saw like live flowers if we may call them how different would you say you are from them like, apart from being that they sell live flowers, how different would you say that Vermont is from those, from those kind of markets? So it's basically uh, one thing or the other. Mm -hmm. They are fresh, yeah. they are beautiful, they are amazing. Mm -hmm. While we are the same, yeah. but we are more preserved. Mm -hmm. So we, it's just about the life that we put into it that mm -hmm. is a longer way and it goes a long span yes. compared to the fresh flowers. Uh -huh. So even with that in mind, is there a specific flower that sells a lot and others that they are still there, the standard, they're not going? Um, I would say yes and no because um, as seasons come by, um, like I would say Valentine's is around the corner, Christmas yes. is coming around yes. and all that, mm -hmm. whatever occasions that come arise, mm -hmm. uh, the flowers that are linked to those occasions move mm -hmm. faster during those occasions. Wow. And so if we're talking about roses, for instance, and we just take Valentine's, mm -hmm. yeah, we have more sales of Valentine roses yeah. compared to in March when mm -hmm. it's much lesser. But at the same time in March, when we have Mother's Day, mm -hmm. we sell pink roses, more of pink mm -hmm. and less of red as we did in Valentine's. Mm -hmm. So it just goes up and down a little bit. Yeah. So when it comes to events, we just had the Flower Festival just uh, a month back. Does it the, how does Vermont come in contact when it comes to flower festivals or, or, or even other events like we can set you up, we can have this for you. How are you able to reach out to such places? So we try and reach out to all these kind of people and this kind of crowds just to educate them, to show them that there is a product out there that you could be thinking in the back of your mind but mm -hmm. does actually exist. Mm -hmm. ah, so like you have to keep updating people there is this thing yes that is there is this thing and it's happening and it's out there and it's available here in kenya mm -hmm. yeah we offer such services i mean <laughs> <laughs> actually quite beautiful yeah. so you mentioned that the making of local of packages locally has become a challenge for you but there are other challenges that the business has faced throughout the years could you mention some of these well, I can take a small instance of uh, what we've been going through during the COVID time. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, a lot of uh, flower farms and all that went down during the COVID time, but mm -hmm. it did affect everyone. Mm -hmm. But we would say we felt much safer and we didn't feel like we suffered as much as others did because of our products, mm -hmm. because uh, we still were shipping out, we still were working, we were still preserving and we are still creating. Yeah, so COVID didn't affect as much. 
as much mm -hmm. but it did affect but not <laughs> as much so when you look at the future of vermont where do you see yourself so with vermont's future mm -hmm. we see ourselves contained and containing the environment mm -hmm. contained and containing the environment wow that's a good one but do you see yourself like opening other branches uh, we are multinational already, mm -hmm. yeah, we are, we have a sister company in Belgium at the moment mm -hmm. and uh, we have our distributors all around the world, mm -hmm. so our products are moving and we are looking forward to moving further and further, as I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. We have a small market in the US, mm -hmm. but we are trying to get into the US and making sure that we are covering lots of uh, US just as well as Europe and Asia and the Middle East. Mm -hmm. But do you think Africa is accepting of, of the flower industry as is Europe and the US? Yes, they are. Wow. Yes, we, yes, yeah. yes we are. <laughs> <laughs> because I know most people are like, uh, that, that just that's a fence. Just leave it at that. <laughs> ah. No, no, no. We have a lot of people coming here, local Kenyans, and they really appreciate the love and the artistry that we are coming up with, the mm -hmm. preserved people flowers and foliages. Mm -hmm. yeah. What has been in Vermont taught you as a person since you started working here? That you can never go wrong with nature. Huh? <laughs> you can never go wrong. You can never go wrong with nature. Mm -hmm. I mean, we work with, we get inspiration from so much, mm -hmm. like uh, very simple things that uh, is out there in nature. Mm -hmm. And we're able to create and give um, colors and textures and meaningful designs mm -hmm. to spaces mm -hmm. and there is nothing more uh, relaxing and to be in a content environment whereby you can see you're surrounded by nature and everything around you is good it's happy and is communicating to you mm -hmm. yeah. so according to Manoa Esipiso who is actually their uh, ambassador to uh, the UK they say that Kenya offers the best flowers for that side. Does this also fall in place for Vermont? Yes, it does. Uh -huh. So you can actually get clients as far as going to there? Yes, we do. Wow. I'm, I'm actually astounded that preserved flowers can sell as much as live flowers. Yes, they do. Mm. Yes, they do. And when, when you, visit, you see like when you're going to visit someone and you take to them live flowers, would you advise someone to get live flowers or preserved flowers? Well, we always, not from a sales point of view, but from a general point of view, I feel like uh, personally, we feel like preserved flowers go a long way and they pass on a stronger message. Mm -hmm. So, because we get attached emotionally to things that are given onto us or passed onto us, mm -hmm. I think something that lasts longer is more attached to you longer. So, I, I believe, yeah, preserved much better than fresh. Well, for Vermont, preserved is much better than fresh and getting in contact with nature is what they always go for and that is how they've been able to sustain themselves since 1989. 1989 and they're still creating amazing pieces which you've seen all throughout the show and that is what it looks like to preserve a flower. I know you haven't seen preserved flowers but today you have. Well that is all we had for you today here on The Grind. My name is Violet Njoki. Remember to talk to us on TV47KE and tell us which other business do you want us to feature. Well until next time with another business, another entrepreneur. See you then.